Hi guys, so in order to become the Chancellor of the Exchequer, I understand you don't need to be a mathematician, but you should at least know what a loan is, you, because you're dealing with finances, you're dealing with mortgages, interest rates, things like this. But it seems Rishi Sunak doesn't know what a loan is. He went to a private uh, school, he, a very expensive private school. He obtained an MBA at Stanford University. He also worked at the investment bank Goldman Sachs from 2001 to 2004. He also worked at a, at a number of hedge funds as well. Um, so you would imagine hedge fund companies. So you would imagine he would know what a loan is, but obviously he doesn't. Because in this exchange he had with Alison uh, Thielis, an S&P MP, over this loan that he is forcing households to take out of £200 to deal with the cost of living crisis to deal with rising energy bills. Well, let's hear what he had to say about it. Details. And will it go against debt and will it, or will it be an additional credit? That's one of the things that they are working through at the moment with, with people. And there's reasons that there's different ways that they might, might want to do it, but they're in conversations right now about there's that. There's no opt-out to this £200 heat now pay later scheme, is there? Uh, no. no. So people who are already in fuel debt, who are on prepayment metres because of that debt, are being asked to take on another two hundred pounds of debt from the no, I, actually, you know, it, I think it's 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 wrong to describe it that way, and we sh and you, I think it's also I'd say, you know, gently, it's, it's wrong for to worry people that that's what's happening because it's clearly not what's happening. Actually, it's not. It's 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 not debt. It's uh, it it's debt. not a loan. There's no. It's not debt. Is not a loan. But you're forcing people to take out two hundred pounds that they have to pay back. If you take out, if somebody is offered money and they have to pay it back, that is a loan. Once again, how did this guy become Chancellor of the Exchequer if he doesn't know what a loan is? Alison will explain it to him. <laughs> Interest on it. No one's credit rating is impacted. It, what it is, and, and particularly for the people that you're talking about, Alison, who are struggling, it's saying, hang on, you know, we can't make all of this problem go away and ultimately we are all collectively having to adjust to higher energy bills, but... <laughs> you know, Rishi Sunak, who's worth at least between 150 million and 200 million pounds, is talking about how we all have to adjust <laughs> to these energy costs. A lot of people have to adjust. Some people will not have to adjust. It's a little bit disingenuous to say that we all have to adjust. Rishi Sunak, who is married to a woman who's richer than the Queen, is talking about having to adjust. But let's continue. Trying to do it all in one go is tougher. So instead of having to come up with £200 all in one go, let's spread that cost over five years so that your family finances can come up with £40 a year over five years rather than £200 all in one go. That's, that's what it is, and I think that is the right thing to do to help exactly those people for whom it will make a difference. And given the choice of having to find £200 all in one go if you're, if you're really, really uh, struggling for things, uh, faced with the choice of having to do that or saying just come up with £40 a, a year for five years, I think that will really help them. It was something that was actually requested by people like the Citizens Advice Bureau from there. Why not just give the people the £200? Not ask for it back. Give it as a grant. Say, this is for you. Like the uplift. Like the universal credit uplift. Universal credit uplift wasn't uh, a loan that people were given and then they had to pay back. Well, it was taken away from them after. But it helped people deal with bills. It helped them deal with the cost of living during the crisis, during the pandemic. Why not just give the people 200... People are not going to spend it on alcohol or cigarettes or whatever they're going to spend it on paying their bills how can you see this as a waste you're giving people 200 pounds to spend to save themselves from you know going hungry this is ridiculous memory particularly for that reason uh, and others said can you spread the cost of the impact over time because it gives family finances more time to adjust to it so describing it as, as a loan is wrong it is spreading the impact of a price increase over five years rather than having to deal with it all in one go at the beginning and i think that is a good thing that will help people and particularly those people uh, on lower incomes
if I give you money and then it's expected to pay, be paid back, it's a loan. It's the, the, the money You're asking is, it, it to be paid back. That, in that's because of the mechanism. The, 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 mechani the mechanism of how. So what we're doing is saying you don't have to come up with two hundred pounds this year. <laughs> See, we're, we're we're kind, okay? We're not going to force you to pay it back. We're forcing you. Well, we are actually forcing you to pay it back because we're forcing you to take it. So you'll have to pay it back. You, you can't opt out. At the beginning of this video, he said, "No, you can't opt out of it." What sort of loan is, you know, imagine if you're walking down the street and the bank manager comes out and sticks a piece of paper in your pocket and you're like, well, what is this piece of paper? And he says, now you owe me 200 pounds. <laughs> I've given it to you, but you're going to have to pay it back. Uh, but I don't want it. I oh, know you have to, you, here's the 200 pounds. You have to pay it back to me in uh, 40 pounds every year. But I don't want, no, no, it doesn't matter whether you wanted it or not. You're getting it. To help you deal with the energy crisis. But that's not going to help me if I have to pay it back. Can I just keep it? No, 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 you can't keep it. You have to pay it back. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And many organizations are saying it's not actually going to help people. A grant would help people. Give people the actual money, the 200 pounds. It's 200 pounds in one go. It's not 200 pounds a month or 200 pounds every six weeks or uh, every six months or something like that. It's 200 pounds, a once off payment of 200 pounds that they have to pay back. Because that's yeah. a lot extra to deal with well, it's instead. It's 40 comes next year and the next year and the next year which, and the next which year is, and the next well, year. Well, if you're talking about the people that you were who were really struggling yes. to make ends meet, do you think they'll be better off having to come up with £200 in one go or £40 a year over five years? I think they'll be better off with a grant, Chancellor. Well, that, well, that's a different question. And that gets back to our point on what's an acceptable amount of borrowing. Uh, yeah, that... that Look, and that's a choice, right? I, I have a Your view. Your choice, it's not theirs. It, they don't it, get to opt out of it, this. And it's, it's a, because I think it, it will help them. You're forcing them. How will it help them if they have to pay it back? They'll, they'll pay it back over the next number of years. But if, if the price of energy goes up, then they're going to be in a more difficult position where they'll have to pay it back. Once again, this is a guy who's worth between 150 and 200 million pounds, who's married to a woman who's richer than the Queen and he's talking about £40 here and £100 there and £200 there. To take something that you think will be good for them and they might disagree but they have to take it anyway. No, I, I, I'm That's not. not helpful, Chancellor. No, I'm not. What, what I'm doing is saying, actually, rather than come up with £200 in one go, particularly if you're someone who is struggling to make ends meet, you don't have to do that instead. <laughs> so you don't have to come up. We get, we're forcing you to take this money but we're not going to force you to pay it back <laughs> straight away. This is absurd. But then this is Rishi Sunak. Once again, somebody completely disconnected from reality. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.